Yes guys, how's it going? Welcome back to a new video and to the first Newcastle United preview of the season as we get the Premier League started this weekend with our first game at St James's Park, 3 o'clock kickoff against Nottingham Forest. Cannot wait to get this season underway. We are coming off the back of two pre-season wins last weekend, both at St. James's Park, beat Atalanta on the Friday night, beat Athletic Bilbao on the Saturday. And I tell you what, they are good teams. Atalanta was in the Champions League not five minutes ago. Athletic Bilbao were in the Spanish Cup final. And we've got out there, we've beat them both. I'm hoping and I'm sure the lads will have carried some confidence out of those games. Now we need to do it this weekend in the Premier League against Nottingham Forest. And I'm sure they will be travelling to St. James's Park with a lot of confidence as well. A promoted side winning through the playoffs. They are going to be up for it. And they've signed a few players as well. More than a few players. One of which is Jesse Lingard, a player that was also linked with Newcastle this summer. I feel like he definitely has something to prove this season. All eyes will be on him this weekend, but I am confident Newcastle can get the job done as well. So we've got loads to get through today, but first we have a video sponsor. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of classes for anyone who loves learning and wants to explore their creativity and learn new skills. With so many classes available, you can look to learn a new skill, learn a new language. I was looking to try and improve my video editing skills. I took a video editing class on Skillshare ran by Jordi Vanderput called Video Editing with Adobe Premiere Pro for Beginners. It's a new software that I am trying to get used to and Jordi uh, made it really easy to follow. I found it so much easier to watch Jordi and learn with him than I would have trying to work it out for myself. And the class is over three hours long, but it's all subsectioned. So you can watch some of it one day, some of it the next day or just skip straight ahead to the part of the video you need like I had done while editing other videos. Now that I've learnt the basics I cannot wait to take a look at the advanced learning with Adobe Premiere Pro. I have no doubt that Jordi will lead me in the right direction and I just found it as someone who's generally quite busy the ability to learn on the go put the laptop down put the ipad down and learn while you do the dishes make the tea and with thousands of classes there is so much to choose from again languages uh, music photography video editing there is something in there for everyone. Skillshare have very kindly given me a link, which I will put down in the description. The first 1,000 people to use the link will get one month free of Skillshare. So go down there, give it a click, take a look, let me know what you think, and doing so will really help the channel as well. Now then, let's get into this Newcastle versus Nottingham Forest preview. I cannot wait to get back to St. James's Park this weekend. I'll have videos beforehand, I'll have an instant reaction, I'll have a vlog. So if you're not subscribed yet, be sure to hit that big red button. Do not miss any of the videos coming out this weekend for the first game of the season. And in this video, I do want to go through the lineups and give my prediction for the game, but just generally... It's an important game for Newcastle. It's an important season for Newcastle. I think last season was a complete whirlwind. Um, a tale of two halves. The first half, we don't talk about that anymore. We talk about the second half. When we got the new owners in, we got Eddie Howe in. Totally transformed the side. You look at players like Joe Linton, who started poor, came good. You look at players like Kraft who finished the season strong. You look at Shaw, for me, was a, a huge turnaround from him as well. We added players like Bruno, who really helped us going forward. We brought in Target and Byrne, who really helped the defence. We brought in Trippier, who probably added more off the pitch than he did on. Saying that, he did score a couple of free kicks and did win us a couple of games, but I think he had a huge impact off the pitch for the team as well. And going off... The second half of the season, form alone, people are talking about what we could have achieved had we done that for a whole season. Well, that's what people are looking at now. Uh, and I think we kick off the season against a promoted side, but one who has brought in a handful. I say two handfuls, 12 
I think it is now 12 new players this summer window, over 85 million spent. And they are going to be travelling up to the northeast, knowing that they want to kickstart their season as well. I think we've seen in the pre-season from Newcastle already what Eddie Howe is trying to do with this side. We saw it, you know, that he, he took a bit of time last season to try and get the guys away from lumping the ball at every chance to let's try and play some perfect possession football. And, and I'm really looking forward to seeing that this season. I think Nottingham Forest will be... It's not going to be an easy game. I know I've seen some people saying, oh, they're a promoted side. It's a good one to start off against. And yeah, it's not a bad one. But I still think that quite often promoted sides come up to the Premier League full of beans. <laughs> they're coming up with full of confidence. And they want to kick their start their season as well. Talking about Nottingham Forest, they are a side who I've mentioned have brought in a whole load of players. Their pressure is... To stay in the Premier League. They've come off the back of winning that um, playoff final. It's one of the biggest paydays in football right now. They've gone out, they've spent that money, and now the pressure's on to stay in the league this season. I mentioned Jesse Lingard just a moment ago. He has personal pressure, in my opinion. He's a player who was linked with Newcastle, he was linked with West Ham, he's been linked with a few different clubs. He chose Nottingham Forest. He has to show and, you know, reward them for the contract they've given him. And we've not really seen him in ages. He's a player who I have no doubt might have a, a little eye on the World Cup coming up um, in December. And this is his chance to remind Gareth Southgate of what a player he can be. I'm not going to lie. Jesse Lingard's a good player. Um, and I'm kind of hoping he's not on form <laughs> when he gets here on Saturday. But they are... a a well sought out team, as I say, another player they brought in, uh, Dean Henderson, they've got a new goalie, that was another player Newcastle were linked with, so there's a few players there who they are going to have on the pitch that, you know, either it didn't work out for, or they, or Newcastle was rumoured to have turned down Jesse Lingard, Dean Henderson is rumoured to have turned down the Newcastle move, so we don't know all of the intricacies there, but it's two players that I think will want to come to St James's Park and show what they can do, and I'm hoping... We can show them what we can do and that, you know, you should have joined us, not the other way around. So, Nottingham Forest, as I say, a team who battled their way through the championship, have now gone out and spent plenty of money. And I think the biggest thing for us to watch out for is not only the fact that they've gone out, they've got some new players. It's the confidence and it's the buzz. It's, we're, and we're in the Premier League. We're at St. James's Park. This is a, a big game for them going into it. We need to keep the ball. Our new possession-based Newcastle. I know what's going on. I'm still not used to it. If we can stick to that uh, and Bruno can pull the strings and we can get a few shots into Wilson. You talk about Wilson. He's got a goal pretty much every other game. On average, Wilson gets two shots a game. That's how much we've been able to create for Callum Wilson. Imagine if we could get that guy four shots a game, five shots a game, six shots a game. He'd be scoring hat-tricks every week. So, yeah, get the ball to the man. He will score. Let's talk about lineups Now, a lot of what we're going off here is probably the two pre-season games we've just had at St. James's Park. Eddie Howe took everyone and his dog out on the pre-season tours and it was a good idea it meant that he got to see a lot of players he wouldn't have otherwise we got to see Elliot Anderson in action we got to see Bonswell in action against Benfica who was brilliant had he not taken so many players away on these tours we would never have really got to see some of the players that we might be looking to use this season. There is rumours that Anderson and Bondswell could well stick around this season after how impressed Eddie Howe has been with them in the games they've played. The downside, however, is we haven't seen our first 11 in action yet. Because there's been so many players, so much rotation, we haven't actually seen, in my opinion, who will be our 11 to start off against Nottingham Forest. What I am guessing, after seeing the Atlanta game on Friday, the Athletic Bilbao game on Saturday, is that on the Friday night, we played Port and Goal. Where's Dubravka? You know, what's what's happening with Dubravka right now? Uh, it looks Port like Pope is the man who will be starting this Friday, sorry, this Saturday. Let me know what you think down below. In terms of the defence, on that Friday night, we played Target, Burn, Shaw, Trippier and I think that will be the back four against Nottingham Forest that does leave out Sven Botman we saw on the Saturday 
we played with um, Dummett, Botman, Lascelles, Kraft. In fairness, they did all right. <laughs> they actually did really well. I thought we had a better game on the Saturday, to be honest. But um, it, I would su I would suggest that it would be the first one, the Pope. Uh, Target, Burn, Shaw, Trippier. Let me know your thoughts on that down below. Should we be involving Botman? In fact, he's been amazing pre-season. He's both-footed. He's clearly very comfortable on the ball. He looks relaxed. I know he's been like um, compared to Van Dyke and like a young Van Dyke, the next Van Dyke. Obviously, they're both Dutch. And the way they play, look, he's just like nonchalant. Like, he's just kind of wandering around, but he's always in the right place. He's always getting the ball. I'm seeing it a little bit like when we didn't stop Bruno. Straight away, Bruno came in the side. We went and spent, you know, a lot of money on that guy, but didn't play him. We were in a, a, a luxurious position that we could spend that amount of money. But at the time, Joel Linton, Shelby and Willock were absolutely smashing it. And you don't change a winning formula. I wouldn't necessarily say that's what's happening with Botman, but I've mentioned it already. This is a big game. There's going to be high pressure. It's going to be a big crowd. We want to see a result. And Burn and Shaw have been there, done that, and have played a lot longer with Trippier Target than Botman has just yet. So I think he will feature eventually. Or of course he'll feature eventually. But I don't think it'll be this Saturday. Unless he comes on as a sub, I think it will be that back four with Pope and Goal. And then on the Saturday, friendly against Athletic Bilbao, I think we saw our attacking players. I think that will be the attacking formation we will go with. Bruno, no questions asked. He's in the middle, as I say, pulling the strings. Joe Linton will be in there as the battering ram. Who are you giving the third one to? I think it'll probably be Willock. Obviously, Shelby is a player that could have been in contention for that place. I'll be interested to know what Eddie Howe would have gone with, actually, had Shelby been fit. That's the thing. He's got a hamstring issue. Three to four weeks because of that, I expect it to be Willock. Obviously, other options are Longstaff. Elliot Anderson is still an option. It looks like he will be sticking around for the season as it stands, which is, as I say, very exciting. Create some competition. Just 19 years old, so he doesn't actually take up a spot in the squad. But I think it will be Bruno, Joey, and Willock, the man who was able to pick up the ball and run with it. St. Max Wing. Almiron on the other. I would probably say that Almiron and Anderson are the two players who have had the best pre-seasons for me uh, Almiron especially started off very well I think Anderson has just been a breath of fresh air he wants the ball he wants to do something and Almiron a player who I have criticised heavily for not scoring enough not doing enough um, has gone and put the ball in the back of the net a number of times this pre-season so I expect him and then of course the man Callum Wilson up front uh, he will be integral to our season I am praying that he will last the season. We've mentioned it already this video, scoring a goal pretty much every other game. If if he plays the full season, that's 20 goals in a season. So you've just got to hope that we can keep him as fit for as long as possible this season. Now, I haven't mentioned transfers this video. I'm going to be honest. I am recording this video a few days before. Uh, so I'm not recording this on the Thursday when you're watching it. Newcastle are heavily linked with a number of players right now. Oh, well, I'm not going to jinx it. I hope I'm, I hope you're watching this and we've signed someone and I've not talked about them. If we have, huge. <laughs> That's all I can really say because I, I don't want to say a name in case it hasn't happened. If it's possible, massive. Dan Ashworth and Eddie Howe are clearly working their asses off to try and bring a player in in time for the Nottingham Forest game. Even at the time of recording, I think it's possibly just still too touch and go. But... We've got a month to go. We've got till the end of August to bring in a player. And in terms of predictions going into this one, let me know your prediction down in the comments below. I am going to back a Newcastle win. I have seen people online saying, oh, they're a promoted side. It's, it'll be easy peasy. I, I think it's going to be a tough game. I genuinely do. And it's... A lot of it is what I've mentioned earlier, is a team coming up from the Championship 
it's a different it's a different ball game. They are going to want this. They're going to be hungry. We need to be as well. And I think we will be. And I think overall our quality will hopefully outshine theirs. I've mentioned the two preseason friendlies we had against two very good sides. We took Benfica to the last seconds of a the game. They are a, um, a, like a constant Champions League side and that wasn't even with a full team we we had Bonswell at left back you know he did very well by the way but I'm just saying we were bringing in youngsters to have a go against the Champions League side so I do think if we have the first 11 out if Wilson can get in the positions we need him to be if Almiron can play the way he's played all pre-season if Joey can do his bit and break that play up I mean if Joey can do that enough I don't think the defence might have anything to do to be honest because honestly he's that good on his day and we just need Shaw and Byrne at the back sweeping up and hopefully Trippier and Target can get up and down those wings and that Pope has a good Premier League debut as well. So prediction wise, I am gonna go. I'm gonna go 2-0. I'm gonna say clean sheet. I'm gonna say maybe a one goal in the first, one goal in the second. I think maybe we'll get a decent goal 20, 30 minutes in, and then when they're on the full out attack second half. We will put it away with a 2-0 win. That's my prediction. Let me know yours down below. If you have enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, and again, subscribe. I will be doing a whole host of videos this weekend for the first game of the season. Do not miss out. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you later.